Hello friends, welcome to this new video lecture in computer graphics. In this lecture, we are going to cover the topic boundary fill algorithm. So let's understand what is boundary fill algorithm. So in this algorithm, we are going to color or we are going to paint any particular polygon or any uh, sized uh, closed shaped region. So it could be ellipse, it could be circle or it could be any basic primitive. So we are going to color a region from inside out. So let's understand the working of it with the help of an example. So we can understand the example with the help of a paint application that we all uh, know how it works in Windows. So let's see how it works over here. So here uh, I'm planning to draw a particular rectangle suppose. Right and so what is the border for this rectangular? Let's say it's black in color and I have made the rectangle. So everyone can see the rectangle onto the screen. Now let's think of painting this particular structure or let's make few more rectangles or like square shaped figures right so we have it over here now let's start uh, filling the these particular figures with colors so which colors to choose you can choose any color okay so i've chosen the blue color now I'll take the paint uh, bucket tool from the paint application and now you can see if i have to fill this particular structure with this particular big rectangle so where do I have to click? Obviously, if I click outside, you can see it has filled the region outside. So obviously, I have to fill it inside this particular polygon, right? So now in this particular rectangle, I'm going to click it inside and you can see as soon as I click it inside, it fills up the structure from inside out, right? So how does this particular algorithm recognizes that it doesn't have to paint the same color outside of this particular rectangular region? So that is what the boundary is for. So the boundary is going to help us understand that where we got to stop filling this particular paint color. So this is what we are going to understand in boundary fill algorithm. So let's get started. So now what is boundary fill algorithm? It works inside out. So the basic concept is filling the color in the closed area by starting at a point inside the region to be painted and working from inside towards the boundary now in this particular algorithm we have one main constraint now what is that constraint the constraint is that the entire boundary that you see right it has to be of one single color isn't it true yes we saw that obviously we should have a boundary which should be of one particular color and in this case the boundary is of a black color right now suppose if i try filling some other color right again you can see that uh, the boundary is of one particular color that is black right so now how does it actually work so in boundary fill algorithm we start from a point inside the region and fill the color interior outwards towards the boundary and it works pixel by pixel now uh, this process uh, it actually checks the pixel before filling the fill color so fill color is the one that is the color that you choose to fill inside that particular closed region and boundary is also one particular color so now in this uh, example over here you can see the boundary color is blue so boundary color it could be anything but you need to initialize the boundary color similarly the fill could be a color could be anything like uh, red color so this is the fill color that i now plan to fill and using the bucket tool i can just fill it over here so you can see the boundary color is blue wherein the fill color is red right so similarly in here you can see that uh, the process actually it works that it checks the pixel before filling it up okay and it actually goes pixel by pixel so the only thing that it ensures onto a pixel that it shouldn't be the boundary color and it shouldn't be the already filled co fill color so if uh, we are planning to fill it with red color it, it shouldn't have red color already into it then it will stop so these are the constraints that we need to fulfill now as soon as we fill a particular pixel it then works by checking its neighboring pixels so this is how it grows from one particular pixel to another pixel and that's how it covers up the entire region now there are two types of implementation in this that is a four-way connected pixel and eight-way connected pixel so let's understand the four-way connected pixel now in four-way connected pixel right whenever we are filling a particular pixel so it works on that pixel and then it checks the adjacent pixels of the current pixel so which adjacent pixels it checks it checks the left one then it checks the right one then it checks the top one and then it checks the bottom one 
So this is how it checks the neighbors and as soon as this particular neighbors are tested, the same thing works on the neighbors as well. If they are not of the uh, pixel, uh, like uh, the fill color, if they are not even the boundary, then we actually fill up the new fill color, right? So now uh, let's understand the steps of working. So we first initialize four values basically. What are these four values? The point from where we plan to start inside the region inside the closed region so that is the x y coordinate then we have the fill color then we have the boundary color right now so uh, in the second point we see that the pixel that we start from that is the current pixel and we check whether it is not of the boundary color and not of the fill color right if it is so then we continue to repeat step number three and four okay till we reach the boundary pixel. So what is there in step number three and four? In step number three, we say that if it is not the boundary color and the fill color as in point two, then we, in the step three, we change the pixel color to the fill color, okay? So it could be any fill color that you choose. As soon as we fill it, okay, then we again perform step two and three for the neighboring four pixels. That is the top, bottom, right, and left, right? So that is how we work now. So the algorithm, you can clearly see we fill in the uh, four parameters. We pass in four parameters, the X, Y coordinate, the fill color and the boundary color. Now we take a current variable. In the current variable, we take the pixel color of the past X, Y coordinate. So this is the coordinate from where we are planning to start. So that is the current color. Now this current color, which of whatever it is, we check whether it is already a fill color. If it is already a fill color, we can't proceed. We check whether it's already a brown boundary color. If it is a boundary color, we can't proceed. So if both the condition doesn't get satisfied, that means it's not equal to fill color and not equal to boundary color. Then we set the pixel to what? Fill color. As soon as we set the pixel for fill color, we recursively call the same function four times for the four neighboring pixels. That is to the right one, to the left one, then to the top one and to the bottom one. So this is how we work, but obviously there are some problems related to four connected pixels. So let's understand what this problems and uh, we will see how to resolve these problems. So now in this case, you can see that uh, this is the region, right? The closed region with uh, this uh, blue border and this is the white region, okay, that I'm planning to start with. And this is the XY coordinate that I'm starting with. So as soon as I start with this particular coordinate, we see that uh, it has been uh, like processed that means previously it would have been like uh, any particular white pixel so obviously uh, we fill the color right as soon as we fill it which neighbors we work on we work on the right we work on the left we work on the top and we work on the bottom but obviously the right one is the first one that we start coloring the process we start processing so as we process it okay which new neighbors do we get again the right one the top one the left one and the bottom one Okay, but obviously the right one we can't process it now because it's a boundary color. Left one we can't process it because it is already having the fill color. Then we process the top one, right? When we process the top one, which neighbors do we get? We get the top, we get the right, we get the left, we get the bottom. So obviously out of this four neighbors, we can only process the left neighbor. So we process the left neighbor. When we process the left neighbor, again we put up the new neighbors. And obviously you can see again we can only process the left neighbor so we process this particular left neighbor and when we process this left neighbor you can see that i can't process any other neighbors because they are either boundary or already filled color and then we can process the bottom pixel so we process the bottom pixel when we process this again we have uh, the neighbors which are already uh, boundary color or fill color so we have only the bottom pixel which is left and uh, so this bottom pixel we process when we process the bottom pixel uh, we only have uh, we see that uh, rest of the pixels are already processed neighbors we have only the right one to be processed and so we process the right one so you can see i have processed the right one as soon as i process the right one uh, the only next neighbor that needs to be processed is which one the right one again so we process this right one when i process this right one what happens i have these neighbors right this is the first neighbor this is the i'll just point it out this is the first neighbor this is the left neighbor this is the right one this is the left one this is the top one and this is the bottom one so now there's no way that any of this particular neighbors is going to get processed because they are either boundary color or they are fill color so in this case our algorithm stops here and this is the disadvantage of the four-way connected pixel because now we can't enter into this region at all right so this is where we get stuck in this case so obviously when we are working on the last pixel that is this pixel we should have a way to enter into this region so that is how we start working with 
eight way connected pixel. So let's understand how eight way connected pixel works. So now in eight way connected pixel, we just don't uh, process the right, left, top, and the bottom. We also process the diagonal ones. So what do you understand by diagonal pixels is that we are going to process the top right, top left, bottom right, and bottom left. Right, so this is how we are going to go, and so we can understand how to get this pixel. It is uh, x1, x plus 1, comma y plus 1, that is top right, x plus 1, comma y minus 1, this is top bot, uh, sorry, bottom right. And then we have x minus 1, comma y plus 1, this is uh, top left, and we have x minus 1, y minus 1, which is uh, left bottom. So that is how we process so now. Obviously, this algorithm that was a four way connected pixel that needs to change a bit. It needs to incorporate four more function calls for the diagonal pixels. So you can see it has been changed to this. And uh, so we can see that only this uh, diagonal pixels have been added to it. Right. So this is how we proceed with eight connected pixel. Right. Now, obviously, we'll see it with the help of an example. So now understand if we are processing this pixel and uh, we have to process. And so when we process it, OK. Uh, will be painting it with the fill color and who would be the neighbors now so we'll be having this neighbor right we'll be having top we'll be having left we'll be having bottom but we also have the diagonals so the diagonal for this particular pixel would be this one top right top left bottom left and bottom right so now we can see that we have entered the new region that we actually wanted to paint so how do we get started we take this particular Thing and we actually process that pixel when we process that pixel what are the new neighbors that I would get these would be the new neighbors right so now we can see I can explore it more and slowly I can keep on going and that's how I'll fill up this entire region with the fill color so this is the advantage of uh, eight-way connected pixel right so this is how we go ahead so I hope you have understood the concept and understood the algorithm as well if you have understood the concept, please like, share and comment on my video. Uh, thank you for attending this lecture. Happy learning. Enjoy computer graphics. Thank you.